What's up, what's up? Back with another CR video and in today's video for the first time ever, not ever on YouTube, but first time ever for me, I will be using a maxed out e-golem on ladder. As you can see, I'm also one of my favorite cards in the game, very close to maxing out my magic archer. Can't wait for that to actually happen. Um, I've obviously used the e-golem plenty of times and whatnot in challenges and things like that, but never really on ladder. I may have played around with it a couple times, but not at this level. So uh, battle healer is who she is. We already know she's broken especially all the mirrored battle battle healers that are going around and all that kind of stuff but i kind of wanted to give this this deck here a try uh and just see how we do so let's just go ahead and jump in and i'm excited to use a maxed out uh e-golem for sure if you're going to give them that elixir value you better go in there uh strong and you know what we're going to go in well actually you know what? i'm going to be patient depending on what he actually does okay he's going to do that so we're going to actually kind of push then i'll run this here please don't have freeze and then we're going to go ahead and push really hard here with the e golem. We'll go night witch, and he has a bowler. So that's not going to do well. Okay, that didn't do too too. I need a. Okay, so that actually worked out nicely. Um, maybe if she can just take out the e whiz. That's what I wanted. All right, we got this going. I'm gonna lose my Goblin Gang, but I do need that chip to stop there. Uh, let's see here, we're gonna go with this here. He's definitely gonna get some nasty damage, probably take the tower, but we're gonna build up a counter push, hopefully. Yeah, I don't know if I can get the Egon down in time. That's what I wanna be able to do. I'm gonna try really hard. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. You know what, I tell you what, you know, I took away the, um, ability for her to float that would have actually helped out a lot there so we're going to just poison everything i think the uh the blob's going to do some pretty good work here he's going to get this elixir back so i got to be careful so what we're going to have to do is if he was smart he would push to the okay there's that that works he's obviously got some kind of a rocket or a uh, fireball so I'm just going to keep pushing this side. He can chip. We'll do this. Or he has those those guys. I just tell you what, this is the second time I've actually seen this. So that that tower is gone. Obviously. So here's what I am going to do. I'm going to push really hard for a three crown. Now the bowler's going to happen, I'm going to get this all going, we're going to make sure all this stuff heals up, this is going to happen, that's not going to matter, I don't think. The beautiful thing about the magic archer is if you if you don't time it right, then you will be in trouble. I am going to now push, I'm not going to go for the three crown, we'll push um, this side here, I know this is going to happen, I'm assuming a fireball or zap is going to happen. We're going to try to bring... Uh, the bowler focus that way. We're going to do this here. I think it will lock onto the bowler, which means tower damage. All right, we're going to poison a lot of this stuff here. Let's see, is she still alive? She is not still alive. So we're going to do this. That's happening there. We are probably going to lose, ladies and gentlemen. Or not. Let's see. I'm always quick to say that, huh? All right, so bowler's not going to do a whole lot. Magic archer's just going to sit there and... And not quite hit. So where we're going to lose, unfortunately, it's still fun. Where we're going to lose is not that so much as the Hog Rider. Or that too as well. So, Oh guys, we're having fun. I don't know if this was um, the best deck actually against that one. I'm wondering if I should have actually have a building. I think that would help. I almost feel like the Baby Dragon is not necessary in this deck. Where are we at? We are at 3.5. Let's see, hmm, I'm going to throw the, where are you at, furnace. Let's put the furnace in there instead of the baby dragon. Let's see if this works. I feel like if I was, if I, I was worried too much about the hog rider, um, the miner I think was okay, but the hog rider was just too much. I think if I had a building, it would have been good. So now we will place furnace first. Let's see how he responds. Another bowler. I tell you, it's like you never see these cards, and then all of a sudden you see tons of these cards. It's crazy. 
So I'm going to drop the e-golem down now, and I'm going to let all this just happen because I don't want to overcommit because he's going to get a lot of elixir, and I need to be at max when he is. So we'll let that happen. The bowler's just going to die. Uh, we're going to log a lot of this back here. I'll do this. And the only thing is i got to take out this musketeer. He's running his own healer. All right, that's that. That's that perked. Uh, let's see here. I think we're gonna have to definitely drop a healer on his healer. I th I don't know. I'm just. I mean, Bowler is definitely. I don't actually understand why it's not used more. It is definitely a pain to deal with. Um. So the bowler should die. Go ahead and bring this back. I'm yeah, the, yeah, the bowler. Sorry. Now here's where I'm hoping that I'll be able to build a counter push. The musketeer is definitely going to do some work. She's nasty, nasty. Let this happen. I'm hoping I can get to my poison in time. We'll see what he's got. I'm just going to poison all this here. I don't think the poison is going to do a whole lot, but the air. Uh, I just need a couple more air troops. I'm sorry, the bats. All right. Can we please take out that healer? No, we cannot take out the healer. Now he's gonna have a pretty nasty push. So we're gonna do this. I gotta, I gotta be able to kite the giant over. And we will do this here. Okay, hang on one second here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna log this back. We will do this. We just need to be able to get to the... Actually, we're going to do this here. Um, I was saying I was going to just get back to my poison. I'm not even really sure how we took that. I couldn't even uh, really follow that. So, all right. We're going to just protect. I'm not going to get greedy here. We're going to go ahead and bring all this back. Um, I'm going to log. I'm going to then run this. I really am trying to get to my furnace, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. But I will get to it on this side here. So, good game. I don't know. Bowler two times in a row. That wasn't great. Or that was hard, I should say. Still still took the uh, the match. So It's fun. I think the furnace definitely helped, right? Um, I think we would have gotten that first game, too, as well. So, all right. Awesome. Um, it's everything I kind of thought, I guess. So let's just keep going. Jump into another one. All right, I'm gonna make it. Let him get the or make the first move. If I don't start out with furnace in this deck, I don't think I'm gonna. It's too aggressive. Okay. So, I don't know what you guys would actually do in this type of situation, but to me, I feel like he wasted a Tesla. It's out of cycle. Though that really stinks. <laughs> um, I was trying to say. All right, we're we're running it. What I was trying to say. I wish I had the battle healer too. So. And that is one reason. Oh man, okay. I was gonna say that was one reason I wish we um, had the magic archers at. However, though, I'm sorry, uh, Max out. But I think that fireball still kills it. I could be wrong. All right, so that's that's a pretty nasty push. And that's gonna just keep going. So I feel like I'm starting to get a better feel for. I think the first match, if I remember correctly, I think yeah, I was just too aggressive. I can't just be. Showing all my cards right away, right? If, if I remember correctly, if, if that's what I did. So, all right, he's pushing opposite lane. So, I still don't know what his win condition is. So, we're going to go ahead and start this. I believe he had Fireball. I'll go ahead and run this. And we're going to run the Magic Archer. He can get a lot of Fireball value actually right now. I think a lot. He's going to miss one. That works. So, we'll, we'll pressure. All right, that works too as well. See what we got here. I think I'm just gonna let all this happen as long as that skeleton goes. There we go. I think the Night Witch is gonna get a lot of work there. Yeah, I think definitely needed the uh, the the building, the first push there. So pretty good fireball value. I probably overcommitted there a little bit. I could have just let that actually happen. Um, I think what we'll do is just let this all die. I'm gonna go ahead and poison. 
We'll see which side he's going to run on. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and run this. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And we're going to go ahead and run this, which I, I knew. Obviously, I placed the furnace that side because I knew he was pretty much going to be going that way with it. So he won't get a shot. We're going to go ahead and pressure. And we should be able to um, uh, protect long enough, I think. We shall see. So we're going to do... Uh, well, dang it. Um, this might be pretty bad, actually. So I'm going to do this. I don't think that that's going to help. <laughs> um, try to log it all back. All right, that worked out. Yeah, there's not too much else you can do, so good game. I feel it's actually dirty, dirty to BM. Well, first off, I don't really BM anyways, unless they're unless they're flexing at me. But I think it's pretty dirty if you're using the e-golem, because I still feel like it's so overpowered. Um, I, I did send a tweet out. I don't know if you guys would agree, but I did send a tweet out earlier um, about something they could probably do as a rework. Uh, if you, if basically when it splits into the golemites um, and then you know whatever let's say just you know to make make it easy the arena tower is ta targeting one of the golemites once it pops into the blobs it will switch targets to the uh, other golemite well I think that if they can put it at the rework into where it continues to target the blobs I believe that overall the two of those hits uh, deal much more damage than uh, the golemite. So my point is, is that while it's now retargeted, because it's split and retargeted to the other golemite, these little blobs are just, you know, going to town, right? They're going ham. So I think that if they continue to kill a golemite, then kill the blobs, and then the little golemite, which hits slower, um, I think that would just work out better. I think that would be a better interaction. Maybe it would be a small rework to a... Um, Slight nerf, I think, in a way, it just wouldn't make it as OP. I mean, because once those blob hits, it's just it's ridiculous how how much damage they actually do. So, uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into another one, and we shall see how we do. All right, and this one, I'm just gonna wait, see what he does. I don't start out with furnace. I'll cycle log if. Um, if, if, if he's waiting too long, I'll just go ahead and cycle log. Which typically I don't like to do, but... Alright, we have a witch. So we're going to go ahead and run... Actually, I'm not going to run log yet. He's probably got... He's probably got a giant. So I'm, I'm going... Ugh, I was going to say I'm going to log now. Hope he doesn't poison. He froze. Which... I... Ugh... Man, took all that stuff out. I mean, I'm glad I got the King Tower, but I'm in pretty bad trouble right now, so. Um, all right, so the dirty graveyard freeze. So typically what I do is I will just push. I don't even care. I'm not saying I, I shouldn't say I don't care. I'm not pushing the left side. He can continue that. I'm going to start chipping on the, the, um, the right side. And we'll try to take care of that. Okay, he's using some value. So the only thing here is, is he's definitely going to be able to run, or maybe maybe he used a lot of elixir there. So I don't think so. So now, nope. I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to push hard. Now this could be a mistake. Um, we'll see what he does here, but I'm pushing hard on the left because I feel like it's kind of a tower trade, possibly. Um, what I will do is, I can only do this really is poison and i'm just gonna let that happen there he's probably still gonna take well i guess he didn't take tower and the night witch is still doing some work so uh let's see here all right so we got this going we're gonna do this here unfortunately he's gonna freeze and i'm going to be able to do this i'm gonna then log all of this and we have got to well you know what no i'm not going to actually so I'm going to do this. I don't know if he's going to be able to get something in time, so I'm going to do this. The only problem here that I'm doing, I think, is that I need to save the poison possibly for... Um, save the poison for... We'll log all this stuff back here. We're going to do this here. He's going to get some damage there, that's for sure, but I think I protected well enough. Um, all right, so now what we're going to do is we'll just pressure this side with the battle healer. 
We're going to do this. And I think he's going to freeze, so we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to give him the dance. Good game. Now, once I get out of this here, actually, I'll leave this here for a second. So the thing I will say that, I don't, you know, that wasn't a BM or anything. It just freeze is probably one of, um, I think that knee barbs, freeze is probably one of my, I think it's a lot of people, unless you're using it, hated cards. Um, I just don't like that card. I feel like, and especially when they, when they are, you know, it, it's, it's, part of the game but I mean if they take your tower and then they use it defensively and things like this it's probably just as bad as like a defensive expo um, it's just a feeling of boredom to me so I was happy to win that one um, very happy to win that one actually so I think let's just go ahead and uh, win or lose we'll just uh, let me donate this here and uh, we'll just jump into one more and see how we do I'm definitely start I'm liking the deck it's it's fun that's for sure I think uh, adding the furnace guys was big all right, we have a knight. So what we could possibly have here, every time I see a knight, as with everyone that sees a knight, is a possible bait deck. Okay, we don't have a bait deck. So what I don't want to do is bunch everything up. We'll let the, the night witch do some work here. Yeah, unfortunately, I was hoping that I'd be able to... Um, um, I could have, I guess. Now, I wonder if I should have pushed hard. I should have, I think. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We'll do this. We're going to do this here. That hog rider is going to do some nasty, nasty work. In fact, lots of work. Um, so now again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pressure opposite lane. We'll see what he actually decides to do. I'm definitely going to save furnace for the hog rider. Um, I'm going to push hard, I think. Actually, I'm just going to start Night Witch now. We'll see what he does. And we're gonna run the archer, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Battle Healer down in time, but we will see. I will go ahead and run this. I'm actually okay with that, I think. I'm gonna be okay, okay with that. Oh man, he zapped. That was a good zap on his part there. Definitely a good zap. Actually, how did the mini P.E.K.K.A. die? And that tower is going to die, probably, but still, I don't know how the mini P.E.K.K.A. died. See? Yeah, people don't think that's OP, man. Okay, so we take care of this. And like I said, guys, that's just, to me, it is like, you got to do that. You got to, and I'm, I'm just going to overcommit a little bit, but I'm just going to defend now. You have to, um... He missed. Mmm, I'm doing it. Oh, guys, I don't know if I should, but I'm doing it. All right, so we're going to do this. All I need to do is, if those pop, but, okay, well, that worked. But then again, the thing I love about the, so he's going to run his um, hog rider right now. So we'll do this. And I should get a whole bunch of value from, let me do this here. Okay, the perfect. Okay, perfect, 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 guys. Um, do this. He's just going to keep trying to pressure. He's definitely going to get some, some work done here. There's not a whole lot I can do with this. I'm just going to poison all this. Uh, and he's going to get the tower. Okay. So this is why I probably should have went ahead and... Um, so we're going to do this here. We're going to do this. We're going to do this here. And I hope that I can get some... Actually, I'm probably going to have to just build another counter push and just guard for from his hog rider. Um, I think this is what I'm going to have to do the most. We'll do this, and hopefully the bats die. Yeah, perfect. We'll do this. I'm not going to worry too well. Uh, I don't know, actually. Actually, I just need to take care of the knight. Yeah, that's not going to do anything for you, buddy. We're going to go ahead and run this. I think that's game. Pretty sure. Good game. Nasty. This deck is nasty. I feel like it, guys. Now, again, if we can just... I'm not going to edit out that first battle. Um, but what did we do? Did we run three in a row there? I think three in a row. One, two, three, four. And we just lost that first one. Four in a row. Four in a row, guys. Oh, we'll get more battle healers. So, I mean, I'm far from a pro. But however, I feel like this deck is, is 
pretty viable right now. It definitely works. And then obviously I'm pretty low um, in trophies still. Again, it's still kind of early in the season. But man, this this deck is fun. I think it's great on defense, you know, for, for you know, uh, Giant. You know, you pull everything with the, the Furnace, Hog Riders. As you can see, I've faced, what, two or three of them. Face a Giant. Uh, two Bowlers, which can be annoying. Uh, kicking myself for that first... Um, battle i definitely could have won that one i think but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed i'm i'm definitely pumped about this i cannot wait to get the magic archer um maxed out and get that star level and just his cool looking hair and everything but hope you guys enjoyed and you know until the next video i'll try to get one up tomorrow i'm going to keep pushing with this and um i might make some tweaks here and there you know poison is another thing i'd like maxed out it's it, i'm working on it log has got a good ways from that but um i still feel like these cards are you know great even obviously as you can see four in a row so uh but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and until the next video peace out